think the team feels coming off a, a bye week where you guys had a good amount of days off to rest? I mean, uh, it was good to get some rest, go home and get to see my family and uh, just rest up these legs and our body. So what's the confidence level like going into the second half of the season, knowing that you got a really tough slate ahead of you? I mean, um, we're a very confident team. feel like we can win all these games coming up. And, uh, we just got to do our job and play hard as we can. When you went back home, I know that you did some volunteer work in Orlando and uh, helping people walk across from their apartment to the school and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So what, what does the community service mean to you? I mean, um, I always love being with the kids. You know, I got a few little cousins, so um, I know how it is. And um, walking with the kids from school, I walked about two miles almost. And it was pretty hot, you know, crossing the street. And uh, But it was pretty amazing. What do you think? What about walking them to and from um, school helps them? I mean, um, discipline, you know, stand in line, uh, teaching the kids what not to do, how to cross the road, and, um, you know, listening to your elders and stuff like that. For you, Louisville, was it a game plan thing that had you more involved and, and more active in the offense as opposed to Miami, or is it just one of those things where the ball finds whoever's open? The ball just finds whoever make plays when the ball comes your way. That's all it is. Wake Forest has struggled defensively. They've already fired a defensive coordinator this year. Is it important to take advantage of, of a unit that is that is struggling a little bit? Yeah, I mean, we should take advantage of every game, you know, going to every game with a mindset to dominate and um, give nobody any um, passes.